people with the selfless personality style have some similarities to the sensitive personality style, right? They're both in the kind of anxious cluster of personality styles. So they both really worry about relationships with other people and how they fit into a team and making sure that other people like and value them as part of relationships or teams or wherever they are. So that's also dominated by anxiety, right? So it's the need to be liked, but the worry about putting a foot wrong or saying the wrong thing or offending other people and those kind of worries and anxieties are probably something that they think of a lot because they don't want to offend other people. They don't want to hurt other people's feelings. They don't want to cause problems for other people at work. And people with a selfless personality style really need and want to be liked. They're willing to sacrifice anything of their own for other people, which means that they are both really, really valuable team players and can fit really well into a team, can be really helpful, supportive, lovely, kind, generous with their time and emotions and support and resources and anything else. But sometimes they take it a little too far and sometimes they are taken advantage of by other people for that, right? So it's really important if you have a high functioning team and you're a good, proactive, effective manager to make sure that their contributions are valued and appreciated and understood, but also that they don't go too far, right? These are the people who, if you ask them to stay late or work late, they always will, but you have to make sure that you're not asking them to do that too much because they'll burn themselves out before they'll ever complain or impose themselves on everyone else or anyone else at all. So these are people who are often drawn to um, different professions of being of service to other people, to helping other people, to charitable causes or anything that involves helping, supporting, caring for other people. Um, people with a selfless personality style are often drawn to that. So it's important to find the balance there too, right? Because that can be really valuable, important, effective contribution to individual work, to teams, to societies, to organizations, to everything. But we also have to make sure that these people aren't taken advantage of and that they're not putting themselves out there too much because it is important to make sure that everyone's taking care of their own health, their own well-being, their own financial resources, not to give everything away and leave yourself with nothing because you need to be able to have that kind of support for yourself and that kind of care for yourself to make sure that you're maintaining your physical and emotional health and well-being. So if you want to be helping and caring and supporting other people, you also have those emotional emotional and physical resources, your own emotional and physical health, to be able to do that. And if you want to do that, that's great, but neglecting your own self or well-being creates all sorts of other problems that, you know, limits your effectiveness everywhere else. So making sure that there are those limits on, you know, how much people are asked to do at work, how much people are asked to give up in terms of their time, their resources, their you know, emotional efforts is really, really important because, you know, with some people, those limits are in very different spaces. So in the workplace, making sure you value their contribution but they're not taken advantage of is in everyone's best interest because depleting people's emotional resources and time and energy is just going to make them worse off and they're going to be less help to other people and less help to themselves. So that kind of understanding and compassion for these personality styles is sometimes fundamentally different from the other personality styles we look at, but it can still lead to derailment because these styles can lead to emotional exhaustion, they can lead to burnout, they can lead to all sorts of problems and making sometimes irrational decisions that don't make sense when people are stressed or exhausted or overwhelmed, but it looks very different than with some of the other personality styles. Thank you.